Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. First of all, yes, my hair is copper and short. I chopped it off and I dyed it another colour. It's a thing, it happened. Second of all, yes, there is no July wrap up video. I just got really busy. I also got a little bit sick and I just did not have time to film it. And because it's only like halfway through the month, it's not gonna come either. So I'm sorry. So blah, now that that's all taken care of, I'm doing a book review today. Don't worry. I intend to keep it spoiler free because last time I did a review, it was a little bit not spoiler free and I got messages about it. The book that I'm going to be reviewing was what I was so excited to read and that book is is Splintered by A.G. Howard. The cover is amazing. Let's just have a moment to look at the cover. This book has to do with Wonderland and we all know how I feel about Wonderland. I love Wonderland. It's great. Wonderland's amazing. So this book is basically about Alyssa Gardiner who is the great 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 yeah, that's the right amount of great. Granddaughter of Alice Liddell. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, who the hell is Alice Liddell? She is Alice from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Or, as we all know it as, Alice in Wonderland, if you go off the Disney movie. You know, the little Alice who went down the rabbit hole. Yeah, 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 cool, cool, right? Yeah, that's her great-great-great-grandmother, or however many greats it is. This book is basically about Wonderland being a real place. It exists. You know, it's not a made-up fairy tale story for kids, you know, it's like, it's real. Alice went down the hole and she told what happened to a family friend who actually wrote the book about Alice's adventures in Wonderland. The women in the Liddell family line are cursed. They're cursed and they go crazy and they end up in asylums. Basically, in order to save her mother, Alyssa has to go down the rabbit hole and break the curse. Now, that doesn't sound cool, but I don't know what else does. I think it sounds so amazing and so interesting, and I'm just like, oh. Like in all YA novels, this book also features that very lovely love triangle that we all just love so much. Because, you know, we need every single book series we read to have a love triangle, because heaven forbid that you just like one person at the one time. Because, you know, it's normal, apparently, to like two people at the same time and you can't pick between them. Never seen it happen in real life, but apparently it is a thing. I don't really know who I ship with Alyssa after reading this book, the interactions and the relationships. I didn't find that interesting. I, they weren't convincing to me. It was just like they were there for the sake of it being there because it's apparently a thing you put in YA novels these days. It's gotta have a love triangle, so let me just shove in two possible love interests. Okay, so the first guy is Jeb, and now he has been Alyssa's crush since, like, forever and a day. He lives next door to her, and basically his younger sister is also her best friend. He's also been pretty much her protector as well, her entire life. Like, he's very protective of her, which you see very early on in the book. And Jeb also goes down the rabbit hole with Alyssa, but... He has a girlfriend who is considered the mean girl. I'm gonna talk more about her later. And in the other corner, we have Morpheus. He's from Wonderland, he's dark, mysterious, rebellious, and a giant freaking moth. And I promise that is the only spoiler I'm going to give out. I feel he lies a lot and he's not very forthcoming with the truth and I don't know, I'm not wholeheartedly convinced of his intentions and his motives. Like, I wanted to trust Morpheus, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But yeah, so I kind of prefer Jeb at the end of this book, but I'm not emotionally invested in either of these two guys being her potential love interests. So I'm just so like, eh. You know, this could change after I finish the sequel. I want to quickly talk about Jeb's girlfriend, whose name is Taylor. I think it's pronounced Taylor, I'm not sure, because the Y is an E in her name, and that's not really normal. She's basically your stereotypical mean girl, however, I didn't really find her to be the mean girl. I feel like Alyssa was more of the mean girl towards her, and in retaliation, she was a cow in response. So basically, what did I think of this book in total? I didn't like it very much at first. I found it quite slow, a little bit boring, and I didn't find that it got interesting up until the point where she was like, hold on a minute, what if mum's not crazy because I'm now hearing the voices mum's been hearing, and what if Wonderland's actually real, and she starts investigating it, and then we go down the rabbit hole and we're in Wonderland, and that's when it got interesting, because the high school stuff was just boring. When we got into Wonderland, it was just like, oh my god, it was so much amazing, because I just love that aspect of this world so much, like getting to find out about like the characters from Wonderland, like you find out about 
most of them, but not all of them. So it's cool to see what happened to characters after Alice left. It's also cool to see what Ash Aspects of Wonderland were true and weren't true, and then what Alyssa has to do to break the family curse. But overall, I did enjoy reading this book by the end of it, and the world that AG Howard has created out of it I thought was fascinating, so interesting. I do recommend this book. I would say I recommend it. It's very different. My only really complaint is the love triangle. I'm just so over love triangles. Why can't we just pick someone and stay with that person? Why do we have to make it a triangle? Why can't it just be a line? But I think that is everything I would like to say about Splintered. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have read this book, please comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!